Hey guys, it's Art. I'm overlooking Asheville. We're here at the George Washington Carver Edible, Edible Park, just right in downtown Asheville, and I want to show you around. I've taken you here before, but I've never taken you at the end of the summer. That's in the towels. Let's go. Here's a beautiful fig tree. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but this fig tree doesn't seem to freeze back like mine does. And we have growth here that is more than just one year growth. So this growth was here from last year as well. I like doing this. These cold hardy kiwi vines are beautiful. I love the foliage on here, but I've never seen any kiwis. And I know there's male and female plants. Maybe they just planted males, or maybe the females died. I've never seen a single kiwi on those vines. What's up there? Squirrel. Squirrel. Did he Squirrels. throw one down? He dropped one. Can we pick up one? Yeah, pick up some chestnuts, buddy. That's spiky. The squirrels are loving the chestnuts. I've got a handful of them. You can eat those later. I'm a big fan of chestnuts. There's all these little immature pawpaw trees down here. Um, pawpaw is a fruit that's native to this part of the country. It's basically, a, it's like a tropical fruit and I'm under one of the biggest trees here now looking. The fruit's always actually really hard to see because the fruit look just like leaves, but there's some right up here above me. I want to check some of these fruit without damaging the tree or knocking the fruit down. Because this is a public um, food forest in a public space, I'm really, really careful about what I ever would take out of here. If I take a pawpaw, I would only take one, and I will not take one unless they're totally ripe. I'm gonna take one pawpaw here, and this one is completely ripe. Um, last time I was here, some people questioned, like, why would I, why would I take food out of here? And the answer is, it is a, it's a public space. I'm not gonna come through and clean out the harvest, but. This is what it's meant for. Um, and I feel like, honestly, not only am I benefiting from this, but I'm spreading the word about the possibilities that exist with food forests in urban spaces. So I really, I really am passionate about this. I love this space down here. I'm going to try a little bit of this now. Oh, wow, that's amazing. What is it? I found some sort of fruit. Oh, I think it's a, it's a persimmon. Yeah, it's an unripe persimmon. We're gonna toss that out. You don't wanna taste that one. I know. It came from that tree. Do y'all wanna taste some of this papa? What's that? This papa. Try it, just eat the inside. I think it's poison. It's like, it tastes to me, I have a new description. I think it's somewhere between avocado, mango, and banana. You want to try a little bit? Yeah. We'll take this back to mom. Mm. Definitely worth trying if you can find them. Um, they can be challenging to find in the wild around here, but they're out there. So this is a persimmon. I picked it up off the ground. It's one of the best ways to actually get a good ripe persimmon, one that's just fallen but it's still intact. If you eat an unripe persimmon, you will regret it. It has such a strong, astringent quality. It will, they say it'll turn your mouth inside outwards. The persimmons, especially the ground falls out here, are plentiful. Most people aren't eating them off the ground or eating them at all. That's my favorite fruit, favorite fruit that's in this edible food forest. Love persimmons. Disgusting. No, it's good. Just eat it. Just eat that part that's real nice and clean. Take a bite. It's delicious. Uh, watch out for the pet. An ant came out. How does it taste? Good. Uh, it's yummy and sweet. There's an ant on me. I don't get 
here we are on the other side of the road and we're right under the uh, county courthouse, the old county courthouse and um, the city building and the newer county jail. Is this one we wait on? The kids call those big leaves elephant leaves because they're like elephant ears. They're actually called princess tree. Maybe that path. I think that's your parking spot, Joy. Maybe that path for handicapped people. <laughs> In the back of the this edible park, there's mulberries and apples and pears. There's more figs, and then there's a couple that trees that just aren't. I've never seen fruit at all, like a ju ju jujube. Kind of being cautious poking through this kudzu jungle because you never know who's up here and you know I'm I'm not saying homeless people are dangerous I'm just saying that you know if you walk in on someone's camp like you're kind of in their space so people definitely sleep out here in the edges of this in the kudzu up here and in the back of the food forest I don't need okay. the last thing I'll show you here is this beautiful um, growth of muscadine grapes that are up on this chain link fence around a little community center uh, basketball court. Those are amazing. I saw some folks come through with a bicycle helmet filled up with figs and I just saw another guy walk down in there with like a um, cloth grocery store bag. Who knows, maybe he's going through to downtown. It just seems like with a, a place this special, you have to hold it in a lot of respect because if just a few people came through, they could harvest all the fruit and all the figs. I'm not trying to be all picky or anything. I guess what I'm saying is, I wish there were more places like this. Like one in every neighborhood where you could come in and pick as much as you wanted. All that said, I'm just so appreciative to the people who planted this place and got this place off the ground years ago because it's such a blessing and a beautiful thing to have in our community. Well, folks, this has been another great day in the city. In the city. <laughs> and we appreciate y'all joining us as we visited this really cool place. <laughs> Y'all have a great rest of your day.